So of all the editorials I've ever written, I think one that had the most comments was when I wrote about the imperial versus the metric system. <laughs> what do you all think about this? Are, is, the, is the U.S. ever going to make the switch and, and why or why not? Or should it? <laughs> do you want to start? <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I think we should eventually <clears throat> go yeah. over. I mean, I, it, it just it, makes sense. It Everybody does kind of seem dying. to make sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Like the whole world, I think, uses metric. Well, I think well, except for Burma, Liberia, oh, Burma and Burma. Liberia. And, uh, oh, so Liberia. it's, it's not nations. great company. Two co yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> two countries. All right. Uh, I mean, it, sorry to our Liberian viewers. Yes, viewers, uh, but um, I mean, doesn't it make sense that we should yep. switch over? And, uh, yes. I mean, you're saying maybe ultimately, but uh, you know, maybe there's an. Maybe there's a case to be made for just doing it, saying on January 1st, 2016, we will go metric. Oh, I think we did say that, like that in 1975. <laughs> 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 I think you did. It's never right. been done. I mean, literally, yeah, we I had think the, you're right. the Metric yeah. Conversion Act of 1975. We had the Omnibus mm -hmm. Trade and Competitive mm -hmm. Act of 1998. We had the Savings <laughs> in Construction Act, 1996. And we had the DOE's High End uh, Computing Realization Act of 2004. Well, so our government obviously has has had so much influence made this effort. on our <laughs> shifting over. So exactly. every decade, it's <laughs> every get, decade. Get we're getting fever. closer. Exactly. Yeah. But yes. I think if you did it just sudden, suddenly said, it's changed, you would have some problems. Everyone would oh, have yeah, to get sure. new cars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, I was in Ireland. I rented a car that only had kilometers per hour on the, on the gauge. Mm -hmm. I went up to Northern okay. Ireland, where they still had speed limit signs posted in miles per hour. Nice. And I was having a heart attack driving the whole time, thinking, how the heck, I don't know if I'm going too slow, I don't know if I'm going too fast, am I making people mad? So you, I don't know if you can do it like that, even mm -hmm. though that would be the best, you know, like taking a bandage off. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's the best yeah. solution, but I don't think right. it would work. I think for the, for the consumer standpoint, it won't be as big of a deal, because, I mean, we have things like, like cell phones, and, and half the appliances we have, you could, you know, there's like a little conversion switch on there. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's more in the engineering fields and in the construction fields, there, there's some people that just are they're not they don't want to go back or they don't want to or they don't want to go forward. I should there, say there are certain groups that don't want to. I, I remember reading about some of your comments about that, mm -hmm. but still, I, I think in the engineering field, everybody's familiar with both mm -hmm. systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's and true. And to me, it's it's, the, it's a consumer political football as to why we don't do it because the average consumer is still in the miles, the mm -hmm. gallons. They're not in the liters. They're not in the kilometers. And that's where I think it starts with. They're with, not in the inches. With uh, schools and with with, with kids. Yeah. I mean, teaching them. But they just have teaching them to metric. start them. But just teaching, teaching them metric. metric. Oh, just, just teaching metric. Just yeah. metric. Don't uh, teach them about pounds and inches and whatever. And teach kids them both. Are, kids will just pick it up and then. That's, Engineers know that's both. all they know. Teach the kids both. It's, it's, it doesn't hurt if we're familiar with well, that. Yeah, it I hurts when you have a Mars really lander or you have yeah. a Hubble well, Space Telescope or something with those conversions. And that's happened, but that's where the engineers need to be sure of what units they're all working in, and that's just a simple question. But if we didn't have both, those would have never happened. True. True. The, the, the possibility of that happening would be harder, but I think the reality is you're going to have to have both mm -hmm. for a while, maybe a hundred years. How, how do you move it forward politically? I mean, I don't mean to be oh, flip, geez. but if, if the Democrats got behind it, the Republicans would say no way. And if the Republicans <laughs> got behind it, the Democrats would say no way. I mean, in, a, in our divided country, can you really move something like that forward? Well, and it says something to the, the American mentality. Like, I, we don't care if everyone else is yeah. doing it. We this is our way of doing mm -hmm. it. I mean, it really I does change. speak to the way America. It, it's inertia. The world. It's yeah. inertia. We just don't want to move. Right? Or did we no. do it as a, as a swipe to the British because we didn't want to go with that system yeah. when this country was founded? I think there was something to that. It was our close ties to Liberia and Burma. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's definitely room for, for a 2015 going Obviously, metric uh, yes, because, yes. The, come on, look, this decade's we're, we're almost halfway behind. over. So and there need, are groups that are falling you know, behind. Perpetuating, you yeah. know, the, they're trying to, trying to get it moving forward. But, you know, it's just, it is more logical. Absolutely more logical. And it's, it's easier. easier. It's, it's much easier. easier. It's based on 10. It's based on your number of digits you mm -hmm. have. It's right. completely logical. Yeah. What about Ireland? It's, it's it's the problem of converting. Converting from one to the other. That's where a lot but if, of the But if you don't know the other, to. then you don't yeah, need to convert that. the conversions. There so is that. you're done. But I mean, I will say selfishly, when I travel through through Europe and I'm looking at liters and whatever else and kilometers, it is a bit of an intellectual challenge mm -hmm. to try to like convert it in my head. So I might miss that because I'm thinking in two different systems, but yeah. that's just completely selfish. And but then right. you could just convert it back yeah. to the other way then, 
when, when we're all used to you know the metric system, then you can start just in your head converting back to the when imperial. no one else just will know fun. what I'm talking just about. Just for I'll fun. Be like, yeah, that's 15 miles away. Or What's the difference there? <laughs> You're talking about fathoms or something? <laughs> fathoms per fortnight. <laughs> per fortnight, exactly. There you go. Right. But but didn't your, uh, Ireland? I think in 2007 when they joined the, the EU, mm -hmm. they officially switched over. Yeah. You've been there a lot. Have, have you seen any? Has how how tough of a transition has it been? It, they, I mean, they've always used. I think they always use metric more than anything. Okay. They, it was it was always kind of weird there. A lot of times the speed limit would be posted in miles mm -hmm. per hour, but gas was always in liters. Mm -hmm. It was never in miles, you know, in gallons. gallons. Mm -hmm. So it just it's it's different, you know, over there. And and I think that now I think they're pretty much all metric, and okay. I don't think there's any kind of an issue there. But I don't think they were ever. At least when I was growing up, going there, I don't think they ever really used, you know, miles or anything as mm -hmm. much as they did the metric system. And I think that's probably because of the way they taught it in school. Mm -hmm. That it's going to be so expensive to go right. back and mm -hmm. change all the machinery and mm -hmm. you know the equipment to uh, right. to change over to metric. It would be extremely expensive um, to do. So that's actually one of the kind of one of the arguments against it. But you know, and all the road signs. I don't think you could do it right. You know, you, it's not like ripping the bandaid off. I think for a while. It would have to be in both, mm -hmm. you know, um, which would be expensive. It, quite frankly, it would, you know, think about every single road sign in the in the, in the entire mm -hmm. country. Think about little little shops that would manufacture those, though. They would. We would have issues too. We'd have to reprint all your business cards from miles to kilometers. <laughs> oh, that's true. That would be a big expense. It would be exactly. Yeah, it would be. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're interested in hearing your thoughts on the imperial versus the metric system as well. Please uh, comment below, and for more videos, you can visit www.designworldonline.com.